Right then, sorry, just got back. Got me water bottle in tow. Hello, 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 chat. How are we doing? Welcome, welcome back to Hand of Fate. A, a game that we've been playing over, well, I think we've only played, well, we have only played it once. So we managed to get a decent way in there, which isn't too bad. Best voice ever. Thank you very much, Xanders. Good to see you. Oh, Xanderans, good to see you. Yeah, good morning. How are we all keeping this fine? Uh, what day? What day is it? Friday, isn't it? That's right. I'm here this morning. So, Friday stream. Hello, Spectre. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> your your one million is in jeopardy, Spectre. <laughs> I, I've got a 1607k error on uh, on Star Citizen. I can't uh, I can't I can't log into my game. Uh, it's it's smelling like a character reset, to be honest. I've submitted a support ticket, but I I think I know what the answer is going to be. Your left kidney is mine. That's it. Hello, hello. Yeah, so welcome. How are we all doing this fine morning then? Not doing too bad on Planet Joe. Hello, Lewis. Good to see you in. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Mr. Screwed. Good to see you, sir. How are you keeping, mate? I missed the last time you streamed this. What's it about? Um, You'll pick it up quite quickly. It's essentially a card game uh, with like kind of like a hack and slash built into it. It's not really a hack. I guess it is a hack and slash. I'm terrible at like trying to sort of generalize games into genres. I'm really bad at it. Hello there, Rethius. Good to see you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. and I'm not here for it. Oh, <laughs> Can't blame yeah. you. Thank you very much there to Kine. Uh, Kine Keenborn? Keenborn? Thank you very much there for the 12 months. Congratulations on the grey beer. A DD and d card game brawler mixed in. That's it. And thank you also to, is it Crep Crepularity Fox? Crepularity Fox? Very, very kind there with the one viewer. Good to have you in this fine morning. So yeah, not, not much happening on Planet Joe. Um, got really nothing planned for today. I'm just going to be chilling out, trying to see if my Star Citizen will start working. No tree. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Toby. Going to head off to Ikea to buy a chair soon. Current one is killing me, bum. I actually got my chair from an office supply wholesaler. It was uh, when I moved into the new house, I decided I'm going to have an office. I'm going to have a nice, beautiful suite with everything, you know, everything that I want on it. I've got one, two, three gaming monitors at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sort of build a big circle around me and you're going to have to lower me down the middle with like a crane or something. Uh, what chair did I get? Um, I doesn't have a... I don't even know what the name of it was, um, but I got it from an office, like a proper office furniture wholesaler. Um, and it's called a, tw it's it's part of a brand of chairs or a line of chairs that they call 24 hour chairs, right? Um, they're designed for like, um, uh, like emergency service responders where like people are going to be in those chairs all the time, right? So they're quite, um, Obviously, they're very well built because they're going to be absolutely ragged because they're going to be always in use. And they're quite comfy, quite comfy because obviously emergency responders have got very long shifts sitting down. So it's called a 24-hour chair, uh, the one that I got. Um, here's one. Here's a preference for chat. Do you prefer uh, chairs for made for lazy people? That's it. Ergonomic chairs, then. Can you sit cross-legged on them? Probably not. I, I can sit cross-legged on them. Um... Well, no, I, I don't think... I'm actually a big boy. <laughs> I, I'm not going to try that. Um, <laughs> I can just see it. Thung, can just see it going down the middle there. Probably not. You can't sit cross-legged at all. That is a lie. That is a lie. I can sit cross-legged. I just probably wouldn't do it on this one. So, I'm small. Small Pepe hands, that's it. Okay, so let us jump into the game here. Let's get it fired up. Do I have my glasses? I do. Look at that. Prove it then. Absolutely not. I can I can sit cross-legged on the floor, just probably not on this chair. Oh, this would be a, be a bit snug. Snug for Uncle Joe, it would be. Cleaning me specs off here. Actually see through them. Oh, -ho, the gift of sight. Right then. Chair creaks in fear, that's it. All right, uh, let's see then. So, Hand of Fate. So, in the last stream, we killed a couple of enemy bosses. And uh, generally made a pretty good show of it. I'm very, very happy with how everything went in the last stream. Uh, obviously, we've got to keep that pedigree up now. we got it all to play for. I think, I think we were just using this, weren't we? Just this capture window. We'll see whether the game actually loads. There it is. Lovely. Right. 
What I'll do is I'll see, actually, hang on. I'll see whether or not I can get, like, a dedicated capture window for it. Did I have a Gary's mod capture scene for this? I don't know whether I did. Let's use this one, then. No, that's my Axis and Allies capture scene. Well, that doesn't work, does it? You have to use full screen capture for that. So let's hijack this one for Hand of Fate. There we go. Kiraki, will you ever revisit the forest sometime? It's improved a bunch. We actually played it a little bit recently, me and Jane. Uh, let's see. Limit capture that. Anti-cheat. Probably don't need that one. That one there. Does he, he does not wear pants when streaming. Yeah, I, I don't wear trousers. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's uh, moral. Moral grounds I don't wear trousers. Never ever. Right, so let us fire up the game here. Start. Back so soon. I knew you would not falter. So I don't really know, again, um, one of the things that this game doesn't necessarily explain is the overarching, like, reason that I'm doing this. It's described very much as a card game of fate, and it seems important that I do need to beat the card dealer. Um, for whatever reason, he's like the gatekeeper. You can see various demons and stuff down the corridor. I'm not sure the significance of this card game, or why it's important, or what's, what exactly is at stake. It's probably one of those your soul is at stake kind of things, uh, which is nice. Um, so I've been not lose, basically. Um, so yeah, let us start up. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rats? Yes, I think. So, story mode. Now, what we did in the last couple of story modes is, uh, or what we did last time, was we defeated the Jack of Dust, um, this guy here. We also defeated the Jack of Skulls, which was like a skeleton, and the Queen of Dust, which was like a bandit queen with like an automatic crossbow turret, which was like a real bastard. Um, now we're moving on to the second level, which is the Jack of Plague. Um, the curse for this area is the player loses 5 gold for every fail and 10 gold for every huge failure chance card. Twice the fall, or fail I should say. Challenges three rat men and three angry mobs. So we've got those encounters to come our way. You get that candle, it's true. Um, so yeah, that's our uh, that's our destination. Ah, so we're fighting this rats. guy. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and writhe. The Skaven, basically. We're fighting the Skaven. Um, so we're going to use the deck builder. And um, what I'm doing for the moment, I am just using the auto-generated decks. Um, this is my first playthrough, and I've been told by people who have played the game that whilst eventually it's good to be able to shuffle your own decks, they say that for your first playthrough you should probably just use the normal decks um, just to get to grips with the game, and then thereafter go from there. Right, so let us click yes. We've got an auto-generated deck, which is nice. 20 encounters and 18 pieces of equipment. Let's have a look then. Back and begin. Here we go. Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. With loads of angry mob cards, various shops. And then we are ready to go. There's all of our items. Lots of dust cards. Oh, yeah. Lots of those little red dots. I believe that's the difficulty of the enemies. Though I'm not sure. Thank you very much there to Frosty's1997. I hate playing cards in the Oval Office. President always has a trump card. Oh, go on then. You can have a snare drum. Christ almighty. Okay, well, this area sucks instantly because of the fact that I'm going to have to use so much food just crisscrossing everywhere. So we start here at the, I don't know whether this is the forest entrance or whatever it is, the forest exterior. So we're going to be pushing on. Where should I go, chat? North, south, east, west? I don't really have any objective. I've got to try and explore all of these cards. Are we doing snare drums for bad jokes? Oh, yes. Weast? <laughs> Tax him. I don't know. We'll see. Where do we go? Left is right. Let's go left then. Helpful priest, there he is. It amuses me to watch them theorize. To attempt to discern the very likeness of the gods down to their toes. Uh, you meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. Um, oh god. That's probably... Give the, giving the priest half of my food, that's probably quite the gamble this early. 
That would be nasty. I don't think that's worth it. That's a lot of my food gone. Thank you, mate. Did I tell you that I have a Polish friend in sound design? I also have one in... Oh, God. I also have a Czech one, too. A Czech one, too. Czech one... Oh, God. <laughs> God. Oh, yep. Okay. Last, last snare drum. You can have it. There it is. Yeah, that it's very harsh. The blessing is good, right? The blessing is good, but that's half of my food instantly. I'll be down 10 food. What do we think about that? It's not good. It's not good at all. Um, decline. Don't give up the food. Yeah, I think I think moving away. I, th I think like considering that I'm gonna use one, two, one, two, Come one, now, two. Hurry up. We don't have forever. Oh, it's gonna be awful. No guts, no glory. I'm gonna decline. No. Well, I'm sure you don't need the help of the gods where you're going. Farewell. I need the food. Twisted Canyon. Let's have a look here. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Let us climb down to retrieve the weapon. One chance of success, or three chances of success, one chance of failure. Choose from these options. Where should we go, chat? What do we think? Somebody says number four. Number four. There it is. Right then, very carefully you make your way to the bottom of the canyon, you retrieve a weapon. What weapon are we going to get? Oh my god, a huge hammer. It's holy as well. As you string together consecutive attacks, you do greatly increase damage. Press 1 to unleash a force explosion. Very nice hammer. Do we want to replace our axe? I think we do. Really? Yes. Is that what you're going to do? Of course. So that we've got this very huge hammer, uh, yeah, ban hammer. We got the ban hammer equipped. I'm going to go south now. There it is, Mr. Lionel. So that means that one must be the stairs. We could get a shield here as well. Right then, whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps you on the shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name's Mr. Lionel. <laughs> you give me what I need, boy. I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. So, we can either give him the bread off my plate. We can't give him 20 gold. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments and then sits patiently waiting for your answer. I think we'll just give him a piece of food. I can't give him anything else, so... What do we think? I think the dealer would have made but better if it had been voiced by Sean Bean. I don't know. The dealer's got a nice voice. What do we reckon? A lot of people are saying three. Ask what he needs. Okay, let's ask him what he needs. The goblin immediately begins to wander around your person, prodding and poking at your weapons and apparel before making a sudden grab at something. Oh, he's taken my hammer. He then... Ah, oh, we should have just given him the food. Um, he then sits considering you for a while before slapping the table with his hand. Aha! I know what you need. Lionel taps the table with his staff, and some plump cake appears in front of you. Remember, boy, when someone asks you whether you'd like cake or pie, tell them you'd want cake and pie. We get one food card. So we get five food, but I'm we've sure lost our weapon. We shall meet again, the goblin suddenly declares, and then strides confidently back out of the tavern. I'm not listening to chat anymore. Chat doesn't know what the, chat doesn't know what the hell's going on. God, he's, he's taken my weapon. Oh, that would have been really good. Although we did get a shield from it, I think. I don't know whether we start with a shield. <laughs> it's all good. During combat, press... Okay, so there's no special on the axe. What can we do? That hammer didn't last long. Yeah, I normally give him the food off my plate, but I don't know whether that's just inevitable. And then to the stairs. Let's have a look here. Head downwards, if you dare. You have discovered the exit to this area. Let us take the stairs. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. Each of these cards is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. My starting stuff was upgraded, I see. So I start with light armor. I don't, uh, that's my curse, my shield and just a basic axe, because I had a rusty axe before, didn't I? This should be fine. Let's see what we encounter along the way. The maiden. 
Hello there. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. There we go. Uh, your thoughts turn to Mr. Lionel and his need for some elven hair. Request a lock of hair from the elf maiden. The maiden considers this for a moment before slicing a few strands of her hair. As you wish, but be cautious, mortal. You have the taint of a goblin about you, and they may never be trusted. There we go. Remember, mortal, that bold heroes make for great ballads, but survivors think twice before meddling in the affairs of gods and monsters. Very nice. Your prize. There we go. So we get her token at very least. Very good stuff. The river. Oh god, here we go. Uh, your path is blocked by a river. The water is clear but fast flowing. There's no way round, so we've got to go over the river. Attempt to cross. Let's see how we do. What do we think, chat? I think our... It's hard to say. I think maybe number one? Two? A lot of people are saying two. Two, two, two. Let's go with two. Huge success. Well done, chat. Right then. Uh, your light armor makes the crossing easy and you even stop to die for some shiny stones then that may fetch a few coins. Excellent. We get one gold card. Ten gold. Not bad. Every little helps. Let's continue. Ooh, a traveling healer. We probably don't need anything from her. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Uh, healers specialize in curing wounds and also have some skills at removing curses. I don't have enough gold for any of that, so I'm just going to pass it by. It would be cool to go in and have a look, but literally there's going to be nothing in there at my price point, and I've got nothing to sell, so I might as well move on. You continue on your journey. Let us take the stairs. Oh, hitch a ride. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You, you found do not a... seem to have the temperament for friends. Even in the animal kingdom. You've found a friendly trader willing to lend you a ride on his wagon. You have discovered the exit. Let us hitch a ride. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. That's the one. Let us jump over. A winding trail. We've got an well, ambush. Then. How will you deal with this? Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. Let's go. Three of dust, four of dust. Attack the cowardly band for trying to threaten you. We've got seven dust coming our way. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you. You shout your battle cry and raise your weapons. I'm not entirely sure what the two stars means. And I'm going to be a little bit out of practice here, but... <laughs> Hopefully we'll be okay. I just need to remember the Q is to block and space is to dodge. So what do the um, what do the red dots mean, chat? Dark Souls, that's it. Christ. Oh, took a little bit of damage there, but that wasn't too bad, considering how many enemies there were. Right, you search the bodies for loot. Draw one equipment card. Frostfang. Each hit slows the target with cold. Press 1 to shoot a cone of ice. That'll do nicely. Continue. And yes. There we go. Not bad. Jumping on. We do heal a little bit on our journey, which is great. Asleep in the forest, a new encounter. The With the struggles, the boundaries are weaker than they've ever been. Right. There's a token in it for you, if you win. Okay. While sleeping in the forest, you are jolted away by a voice calling your name. You see a vaguely human-shaped ghost rushing towards you. You're quick to your feet, weapon ready in hand. The ghost stops abruptly, hands signaling that it means you no harm. The voice is weak and distant. 
You forget me already? Has this place corrupted you so? Oh, what should we do? Do we attack the ghost or lower our weapon? Interesting. Chat seems to think we should lower our weapon. Let's lower our weapon. I should not be here. I fear his servants already know where I am. For a brief moment, the ghost's pale eyes feel achingly familiar. Please come home soon. You blink and the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. The dealer draws you one food game card, and the card's token is now yours. Buy food, and we get the token. Thank you very much. Moving on down the trail. Indecent arrival. Win this and claim my token. You are minding your own business in a local tavern when suddenly three masked men burst through the doors, grab a young man from the bar, and manhandle him outside. One patron bursts out in protest but is quickly silenced by the solemn stares of all those around him. Leave them be, Garrett. It is his time. Then it must be done. Follow the masked attackers outside. You follow the masked men outside immediately or you're confronted by a large crowd all wearing masks. Their leader speaks to you. Whoa there, stranger. I really would prefer that no outsiders witness what we're about here. I know this may look like a godforsaken thing we do, but we have no idea of our troubles. So I ask you not to involve yourself. I will not ask twice. We have no time for objections. The crowd turns and drags away the young man, their torches burning a mournful light in the distance. Once the light has faded from sight, you follow their path to the forest. You catch up with them, and to your surprise, they are gathered around a yawning portal that worms with malicious portent. Despite their disguise, it is obvious that none of the hooded figures relish the sight before them, and many are obviously distraught. The captive is carried to the portal atop the shoulders of six people, as though they were his coffin bearers, and he already dead. The young man's struggles are subdued by bonds of rope. Will I interrupt the center of ceremony? Now, I, I've had this encounter before uh, in the last stage, but I didn't interrupt it, and I didn't get the token for it, so I think I have to interrupt it in order to get this token and progress this pro plot line. So, in the interest of progressing it, we're going to interrupt. You burst forth from your hiding place and plead with the assembled crowd not to go through with whatever bizarre ritual they are engaged in, but gain no support. Their leader eventually speaks above the crowd, if this man is so adamant that none of our own should not be sent to the underworld, then perhaps he should go himself. You are immediately seized by the crowd and pushed towards the portal. Try as you might, they are too strong and you cannot escape. You stumble and fall in. You fall to the ground with only a gentle jolt. You find yourself in a forest that bears the most striking resemblance to where you just were, but with two very significant differences. The crowd of masked onlookers are gone, and the sky burns red with flames. Out of the sulfur and flames emerge foul hell beasts. Hell. Well, I've got like an ice weapon, so I don't know whether these are going to do any better. Now, I wonder what these guys are all about. Hell beasts. Let's have a look. I'm on full health. I've got Frostfang. Okay, they've got quite a quick, quite a quick attack. That's it. Oh, don't, have, don't really have much time to react. Very good. Is Q still not using his weapon abilities? I don't know how useful that weapon ability would be. I'd rather just, rather than try and figure it out and take loads of damage, I'd rather just rely on my sword arm. Although, I, unless it's really helpful, in which case I should, I could. Uh, they, they could take some hits, they really could. After you destroyed the last hell beast, the portal stirs back into life. You are lifted off your feet and sucked into the vortex before being deposited back in the leafy forest where you were ejected from earlier. The card's token is now yours. There we go. At least we've done that encounter now. Moving on. Let's have a look. Travelling jeweller. Let's see here. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a travelling merchant looking to trade his wandering with wandering adventurers. 
Jewelers specialize in selling artifacts and rings. Such an exclusive market demands high prices. I really don't have anything to sell. I really, like, I'm, I've got to leave this area next turn as well, so it's not like I can come back. So, pass it by. You continue on your journey. I just don't have the gold. The stairs. Towards our foe. You have discovered the exit to this area. Take the stairs. There we go. The Did next you area. expect me to tell your fortune? Yep, no. Q Hydrate, let's do A it. The fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. That's it. Of course, I am different. Fair enough. My powers are genuine. Okay. Fair enough, mate. Let's have a look here. Ratmen hunting. Now you begin to trespass upon the Ratmen's hunting grounds. Interesting. You stumble across a Ratman hunting party prepared to defend yourself. For plague. Or Skaven. It's not too hot here at the moment. Let's see how we do. The enemy is spawning up there. I get my shield. I get Frostfang. Looks like maybe one or two of them might have had bows. Yeah, it looks like they're... Plague by name and plague by nature. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. Oh. I'm trying to click that button, but it's not doing anything. I don't know whether it's charged or not. I don't know how to tell whether it is charged. There's a special ability with this weapon, but I don't know how to tell when it's ready. You recover some food from the rat carcasses. Your dealer drill deals you one food gain card. Free food. Can't complain. Would have liked an item, but hey-ho. Took too many hits there. That wasn't that bad. I'll get that back in no time. Another Ratman hunting party. So easily. Prepare yourself. There we go. Draws you one monster card. Another four of them. The problem is I was trying to faff around with pressing the one and two key in order to try and use the special ability, but with the amount of shots I was taking, there was very little I could do about it. Let's just get right into the melee. <laughs> You can kind of see when they're about to do a heavy attack. There you go. Okay, that didn't... That doesn't seem like the most helpful spell in the world. So it's like a small cone attack in front of me. Yeah, that doesn't seem that helpful. Unless I'm, like, ranged. Yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. Right. You sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were another way to stop this plague of ratmen. Uh, pay someone to take care of it, perhaps. Well, I don't know about that. Let's keep going. Charity. Ah, Let's have a look here. The wandering mendicant. You encounter a priest wandering alone on the With road. Humanity he begs for food. Poverty, religion, the gods show charity. favor to those who help the less fortunate. We could give food to the priest or we could decline. Should we give him some food? We don't, we've got quite a bit of food at the moment. I say quite a bit of food. We've got enough. Let's give him some food. A worthy decision, the priest exclaims. How many young ones will see another summer due to your generosity? Ooh. I could probably spare five. Let's give him five food. The priest humbly accepts your provisions. Let me see if I have anything in my sack from which to res... With from the anything in my sack with which to reward your generosity. Oh god. Let's see here, chat. I think num was it number two? Was number two a safe one? I'm not sure. Somebody's saying four. Two, number two. Number two. Success. 
Very nice. Ah, the priest exclaims and draws out a tarnished old ring. I have the kids polish. I'll have the kids polish it up first. In the meantime, take my blessing. The dealer draws you one game card. Blessing. Self righteous. On useful hit. On any hit, the player inflicts two more damage for each blessing they possess. Here is your token. Excellent. Well done. This tale begins, and then proceeds relentlessly. Fair enough. With each step, you will discover a new card. The and Devil's a Choice. Mystery. Here we go. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Let us choose the Three of Dust. Let's do it. You're no mighty hero. I will let you live with this choice. So these are two difficulty dust. I don't know what the significance is of the difficulty. We will find out very shortly here. What are the tokens for? It determines how many cards I get at the end. They seem to have some nice axes on them. The dust are quite simple. Oh, didn't roll far enough, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, let's try this fucking attack. Oh, God. So let's try this fucking thing. I can't seem to... Oh, I see. It's like a stun. Oh, that's worthless. <laughs> that's worthless. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. That's Yeah, that's crap. I'd rather just kill people. Fair enough. Okay, excellent, the devil cries. You have passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time our paths will cross and I will kill you myself. Oh, Three yeah. game cards. Jesus. Car armor of cold. Nearby Boss, enemies are immediately Ventura. slowed this as... This armor pulls energy from the world around you. As chilling effects of this armor take hold. Interesting. Let us equip that if I can. Yes, that'll be a nice armor. You get 20 gold and three food. Can't argue with that. That's nice. Nice piece of armor. Thank you very much there to Jacket Potato for the 14 months. Very, very kind there. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Another one of these vendors I can hitch a ride with. Uh, you found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. You have discovered the exit. Let us hitch a ride. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. Awesome Hush. stuff. Big circle. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? Oh, Let us jump on. Yeah. Local peasants. A new encounter. Mouths. War leaves nothing else. While crossing a forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greeting, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year, and the forest forest behind her, you sense movement. I see. This looks like. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. Maybe there's bandits behind her. We could give the woman two food, yeah. I'm not doing too bad, Alex. Good to see you. And uh, an elf as well. Looks like a trap. It's true. Let's give her two food. The woman takes your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hand outstretched. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length about what she has seen and heard recently. Ah, there you go. Excellent. Very kind, right. The bandit attack is there. More rat men. Vendor. I don't know. There's the boss, I think. In the corner. So we probably want to go this way. Which way do we want to go, chat? Do we want to go... And that's back the way we came. Let's go this way. We'll try not to get hit by the bandit attacks, and then we'll go and just kill the bad guy. Go left. You can do that new reward card. I'll go all the way around. If I can. Right. Bandit attack. The dealer draws you one card. Three of dust. Go left so you can do that new card. I don't know whether it ends after I kill him. It probably does, doesn't it? Okay. Right in the ribs. Holy shit. Properly gambled behind him then and had him. That's alright. 
Once you kill it, the boss, it ends. Right, so in that case, I should go back the way I came. Uh, among the bodies, you find a scrap of parchment with a rough description of you, plus the offer of reward. One game card. We get a single piece of food. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So as long as I don't use up any food, I can go this way. A traveling tinker. Uh, in a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering and adventurers. Let's approach this shop. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Let's have a look. Oh, it's Tink. Let's see what the Tinker has. There is another shop up the road, so if there's nothing that we like the look of here, we can just move forward. We do have our axe to sell. Let me just sell that. What do I have to sell? Sell the axe. Continue. Gets us four gold. Back. Buy items. Let's see here. Desperate measures. Out of reach. Mercenary contract gets us more gold. And this shield isn't exactly fantastic now because we're so close to the end. Do we want anything from here? I don't think we do, do we, chat? You have four food cube. Yeah, but I'm getting close to the end, Sans, so it's fine. I think that's, yeah. I don't think there's anything to really get from this. Let us leave. Leave the shop. To the next area. The Crucible is coming up next. Another store. Approach the shop. Let's have a look at this store. See how things are. Right, so there's heal wounds and stuff. Let us buy items. So there's desperate measures. There's the healing cap. And what's this? The fleet cuffs increase the movement speed of the wearer. That's not bad. I'm already at full health. That could be worth it. What do we think about getting these? I think for the last boss, they should surely help. The cuffs seem nice. Let's get them. Bye, then. Faster is always better. What I'm going to do, I'm going to also just buy a little bit of food, right? Just in case the encounter I have next demands some food. There's no point in taking the gold. Your provisions are with running me. low. Can you press on? I'm just going to, there we go, just buy a shitload of food just in case the encounter needs. The encounter could also need gold, but we'll see. More often or not, they need food. Let's have a look then. The Crucible. Hello there. A crucible to heat and purify the flawed metal. The town of Stigol, case. or Stigol, uh, sits upon the only safe crossing of the River Ernest. However, the only adventurers oh, allowed to cross yeah. are those who pass through the Crucible. The In the Crucible, you'll fight monsters for the entertainment of the townspeople of Stigol. What will you do? Oh, do we go in? Do we go in, chat? Thank you very much to Lucas there. You have to believe in the bladder of the cards, that's true. Let's have a look inside. Enter the Crucible, you are led to the first arena. Choose wisely, yells a man from the crowd. I'm betting on you. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Let's go with two dust, even though they are difficult. The difficulty's fine. I guess the difficulty increases the amount of damage they do. Are you not entertained? That's it. Let's have a look then, see how we do. Cool. So we want to fight on this central arena because there's loads of spikes that appear. Okay, let's try and be mindful of our arena. Right, come on then. I tried to do that special attack then, but what I might do is I might rebind that special attack to, like, mouse button or something. Speedy boy, that's it. You, yeah, you survived that round, now do it again. The crowd awaits your decision. Let us go with one jack of dust. He should be quite easy to beat. We meet the jack again. Did you think him done before? Oh, no. Speed, speed, speed. Shuffled back into the deck to rise again to the top. Let me just check the controls then. So, weapon one, artifact two. So I need to press one, don't I? Why don't I put... 
that and that there. As are we all. Oh, he spawned a load of mini bosses around him. Okay, I didn't realise I was fighting more than one. Here we go then. Excellent. We managed to get the stun on him there. It's a bit more intuitive on Mouse 1. I managed to stun him before he got that heavy attack. Very good. After surviving the Crucible, you are paraded through the town and allowed to continue upon your adventure. A few random peasants throw coins saying you've made me a rich warrior. We draw four gold game cards. Fifteen. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Fifteen. Twenty. Wouldn't it be great if I... Oh, God. Fuck it, I've got nothing to buy. <laughs> There's no, there's literally no reason for me to go back, so I might as well just go in. Rich boy. There we go. Faster and stronger than normal rat men. Plague and pestilence and blood and teeth. This beast inspires all vermin around him to strike faster the more damage he sustains. Here is a beast who hates your kind and has grown fat and evil with hatred. The Jack of Plague will kill you and suck the marrow from your bones. A That's challenge dance. for you, Rat and kid. a token That's it. if you succeed. It's rock and roll. A couple of tokens at stake here. So what I've, what that's telling me is that I probably want to prioritise dodge more than block. Just due to the fact that they... And if they have any rangers, I should try and prioritise them. This looks nasty. Jack of Plague. Let's see, are those guys rangers? <laughs> Jesus. God, it's so fucking rough. God, he just machine guns. Fuck off. There we go, he's gone. Oh, that was the wrong way to roll. It's not too bad. Jesus, roll for your life. God, those attacks, even they were like machine gunning. But we managed to get him at least. Jesus, bloody Skaven. The Blimey queens above. and kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. God above. But we managed to do it at for least. Slaughter, your reward. Right, we advanced the quest with the Minotaur. Or oh, that, no, that's Lionel's quest, isn't it? Gaining the Elf Maiden's hair, you receive Goblin King's Halls 2. Very nice. Take a look at this guy here. Asleep at the inn. A new encounter. But defeating the cultists, we get the Alicia in Underworld. Or Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? Let's have a look there. Three new cards. Five food, a ring of poverty, and charity two. Excellent stuff. Add cards to deck. Take a look at our next few tokens. Draw uh, two cards. Select one to keep. Nice from the armory. A noble trader. Another encounter. A wife's fury. Ugh. And loan. Very interesting. New encounters for our adventure. And also for defeating the Ratman, we get Berserker armor. 
a scorching zeal, Colin the Ratman, King of Dust Encounter again, Devil's Carnival, and Ember Town Hero. Very nice. And then another Ratman encounter we get Ratman Hunting, Ratman Hunting, and Ratman Hunting. Excellent. Not Come bad at all. Play. I do not want to just sit here. Excellent. Look at the cards you have earned. Now we have enough to begin a real game. Lovely. Now we play. Story mode. Now we fight the King of Dust. Compensation. Whenever the player finishes a combat, they lose one gold per 15 health. Interesting. More ambush and lots of six of dust. Some men thrive in anarchy. Deck builder. Chaos. We're going to go with dust the is one such. Automatic His tools cards. are cruelty and terror, and I suspect he will harbor a great hatred for you, my friend. Start game. In these lands, the king of dust takes his time. Lots of ambush. Lots of six of dust. Lots of merchants. Let's rock and roll. We've got a very full deck here. The more encounters we get, the longer the games become. Lots of weapons available, lots of encounters, lots of enemies. Very nasty. Right. You face the first of my kings. Each has shaped the nature of their forces with the strength of their will. They will turn that power to your destruction. Fair enough. Let's go and have a look. The Maiden. Hello, fair maiden. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Oh, now what do we want? Longer life might be interesting because of the fact that we're fighting harder enemies. We could also ask to be blessed, which is interesting. What do we think about that? That's a new one. Do we go for a blessing? Let's go with a blessing. By whatever strength my people yet hold, may you be protected on your journey. Excellent. Guardian Angel, after your... I made that a little too powerful. After I will your... have to rebalance oh. that next time. Big Kappa. After your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. Interesting. Right. I don't know how powerful that is. Guy seems to think it's powerful. Twisted Canyon. Let's have a look here. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Let us try and retrieve it. So am I right in saying it's any of these three? I think I counted that properly. 10 out of 10, Elf Maiden Voice, thank you very much. Two, three, or four? Go with four. Success. Confirm. Oh, I see. I could redraw it if I wanted. Oh, that's powerful. That's powerful as fuck. Very nice. Very carefully, you make your way down to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the weapon from a corpse. It is Frostfang again. It has its place, I suppose. Are you sure that's the right approach? Did I equip that? Yes, I did. Right. Let's keep going. Mr. Lionel. Hello, sir. You better not steal this. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes his seat next to yours. He taps you on the shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. Give me what I need, boy. I will conjure you up with your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. Now, I asked him what he needed last time, and he fucked me over, so I'm just going to give him a piece of bread, see, what, see if that's what he wants. He considers the bread seriously before placing it in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. He then sits considering you for a while before slapping the table with his hand. Aha! I know what you need. Mr. Lionel taps his staff, and some plump cake appears in front of you. Remember, boy, when someone asks you whether you'd like cake or pie, tell them you want cake and pie. They draw you one food card... So we pay a food and we get three food back. That's fair enough. Then before you can stop him, with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. Fair enough. Right then, the stairs. Were you hoping this was the end? No. Another floor awaits. Let's do it. Take the stairs. You upon embarking on the next leg of your adventure. Let's have a look then. Do you understand how this game works now? 
Hmm. Do you comprehend the stakes? Um, medium rare. Uh, let's see. A bandit attack. Let's see what we've got coming up here. Uh, a group of bandits suddenly attacks. The King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. Draw one monster card. Three of Dust, level two difficulty. Nice. They're quite far away. Hopefully they don't have too many ranged attacks. I'm glad that I get a shield at least to block. Right, action roll. I'm wasting any time with you fuckers. Nice one. The dust I can deal with. The dust I can deal with. Right. We lost seven gold. Why did we lose seven gold? I thought it was only of our lost health. Among the bodies, you find a scrap of parchment with a rough description of you, plus the offer of a reward from the King of Dust. You get one game card, five food. Did you lose the cuffs? Yes. What was that curse again? Let me reread that. Compensation. Whenever the player finishes a combat, they lose one gold per 15 health. Oh, I see. What? So the amount of gold I have... I'm confused. The more health you have, the more you lose. Right. That's a bastard. So that means I'm basically going to have no gold going through this. I can live with that. Ambush. The bandits are solely loyal to their king. They will not let you reach him easily. A l slight rustling behind you, and all the warning you get is that your life is... Sorry. And all the warning you get is that your life is in grave danger. Or plague. Okay. Just got to make sure I... Fucking block their attacks. You're losing six gold per combat. Literally pay to win. So basically I can discount all unless I want to be on really low health, I've just got to discount all of the gold for this game. Basically. Let's see, any ranged ones? You have to be very quick with reacting to these guys. Not like that. Better to just go for combat rolls against these guys. There you go, like that. You just don't get enough. T you just don't get enough warning whether or not it's a block or whether it's. Sometimes you do. There you go. You get barely any notice. It's better to just go for combat rolls against plague. I'm learning. Right. Lose seven gold. Yeah. Nothing I can do about it. I'm basically just going to have no gold in this adventure. Right, while searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realise one of your opponents is only pretending, pretending to be dead. Let us sneak up and kill him. Four. Success. Confirm. Lovely. Right. Um, you sneak up and kill them. A quick, uh, sorry, a quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area, we get three game cards. We get draw three equipment cards and we get to keep one. Oh, now what do we want here? The Helm of Reflection or the Berserker Armor chat? What do we think about that? I feel like the Helm of Reflection might be quite helpful, but what do we think? What do we think? I can't read anything about them, so... Right. Take the helmet, someone says. Armor sells, someone, someone else says. Someone says the helm. Helmet, if you don't have Helm of Reflection, you can become Guts, that's it. Let's go for the Helm. Upon reflecting a projectile, course, this Helm defense, creates a small force but explosion. But a valuable one, nonetheless. Continue. We get one food, and 15 health. Not that More that helps health to us. work with. Much good meat, do you? Contract will help with losing gold. It won't really, because I'll, I'll just got, like... I lose so much gold a turn that earning gold isn't even worth it. Unless, like, I earn a shitload of gold before a merchant, but... Call for the priest. Let's have a look. In a shady grove off a beaten trail, you find a travelling merchant looking to be made with wandering adventurers. We're going to pass him by, as I have no gold. I've just got to do this without shops, basically. And I've got to make sure I'm sparing with my food as a result of that. A fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. 
You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Fair enough. You found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. Let us move to the next area. Excellent. What brings a nice straight you to play line. The game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Very like good. The rest, you are silent. Into the next part there. Asleep at the inn. What sort of scoundrel would go through a sleeping man's belongings? Whilst in the inn, you jolt away and find a banglet rif bandit rifling through your belongings. You're quick to your feet, weapon in hand. The bandit laughs and says, clearly drunk. Easy there, princess. Spare an apple, would you? There's a good lad. He stands unsteadily, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. You grab his arm in protest and earn a punch to the face. Looks like Nancy here wants a fight. The bandit laughs again, spits at your feet and turns to leave. What do we think? Do we lower our weapon or do we attack the thief? You have no gold he can steal, but he can steal my food. Because he says that I, he had some of my food. He's got an apple and some of my stuff. One just for the insult. Two probably gets the token, that's true. I'm going to attack the thieving bandit. With one practice swing, you execute him as a surprise guest. He makes a, the soon suddenly fills the room suddenly fills with bandit lackeys. Okay, so we've got five dust to fight. Okay, I can live with that. Hopefully, I've still got my stuff equipped. Yeah, he was bandit scum. We have our helm of reflection. Let's dance. <laughs> Oh, just rolling into the cupboard. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Didn't take any damage there, which is nice. Let's see if we get our stuff back. Why did I sound constipated? A fair question. The thieves dealt with you accidentally wipe your brow with the hand of thick slick of blood that has run down your weapon. You turn hoping to find a wash basin and find yourself once again in the presence of a ghost from the forest. Of the ghost from the forest. His eyes so familiar, so real compared to its shifting body. You look in fear. You took their lives so easily. Are you already lost? Remember who you are, who you were. I have lingered too long in this place. It drains so. Do not forget me. You blink and the ghost is gone. Those eyes, gone. Well, we didn't get our encounter. We didn't get the gem. So what can you do? Ratmen hunting. It seems you have made an enemy of the Ratmen. They do not normally attack unless provoked. Right. One monster card. Six plague. Oh god, please don't be too many rangers. Right. Let's have a look here. There we go. Please just don't start fucking just don't just don't start just wailing on me with bullets. Single one out. There we go. losing two health a turn there. I think I trod on some poison or something. Not entirely sure. Interesting. Ready for the weekend, Quebec? I absolutely am. Right. Uh, you sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were another way to stop this plague of Ratman, pay somebody to take care of it, perhaps. Near, like, Warhammer 2, like, pay for the undercities to be deleted. Very nice. A winding trail. These another trail to take. wind, and our goals wind with them. My voice and these words draw us closer to the inevitable conclusion. 
The corpses are poisonous, right? Poor Jack. Jack of dust and His some place skulls. Is so much lower than ours. Attack he the cowardly band. Repeats the same motions over and over, incapable of change. Let's go, Jack. Right. How about you? How about they paying me to take care of the cat, the rat men? I can't. Fucking the king of dust keeps stealing all of my gold. My helmet, my shield, my sword. This is quite a tight arena. This is gonna suck. Shot on a fucking punji trap. Go away. So it's the brown bushes, I see. Get back. Got him. Christ. The helm creates an explosion when you block something. That's helpful. Yeah, we lost a little bit of health there, but it wasn't too bad. Minus five gold. Blimey. Yeah, those punji traps really hurt me. Uh, you search the bodies for loot. Draw two game cards. We get a piece of equipment, a new shield. A strong left arm is as important as a strong right arm, after all. We're not going to equip that, and we get 50 health. Very nice keep moving down the trail. A um, travelling mage, not really interested in doing anything with him, pass it by. And then the next area, forest escape, new. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. The path forward take you into the forest. You've discovered the exit to this area, okay. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure, let's rock and roll. Did right. you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Right. Of course. I am different. An ambush. My powers are genuine. You may have to contend with every bandit in the kingdom before you reach the king. I don't doubt. A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster Jack card. Jack of Skulls oh, returns dear. to the fray. Would you expect any less? Here we go. This is like a skeleton boss. He doesn't die very easily. I forget what his special is. I'm pretty sure he revives skeletons around him. That's his special. Hopefully we don't have to block too much. Jesus. I managed to take him down. Jesus H. Losing all of our gold still, though. Blimey. Right. While searching the area for anything worth scavenging, you realise that one of your opponents is only pretending to be better dead. Sneak up and kill him. Number three. Success. Firm. Good stuff. Right. You draw on three great game cards. Draw two from the armory. We get the Explorer's Helm or the Chains of Rage. Now, I've already got a helmet, haven't I? So the Chains of Rage might be worth doing. Do not be alarmed. Chances are high that there is a skeleton inside you right now. That's true. 
chattering away, so he is. Right. What do we think? Chains of Rage, then chat? I've already, I mean, I've already got a helmet, so I might as well. Um, medium An armor. Excellent way to turn During combat, strikes sustained from acid. bows and wands have a chance to restore your cooldowns. Interesting. Considering we're being engaged with so much range, we might as well. Golden food. I'm sure you definitely need food. There we go. Dead King's Hall. Let's have a look here. You see an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will surely be guarded. Two monster cards, six oh. <laughs> six bandits to keep you on your toes. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Attempt to take them by surprise. I do have my special card, so a choice. Select your desire. Right. Redraw. Okay. I think number three here. Game over. I think number three. What do we think about... Somebody says number four. Take three. Yes, I thought it was number three. There it is. You attempt to take them by surprise when you leap into the fray, taking one of them down before they even get to react. So that's going to delete one of the cards. And then we just fight the other one. That's fine. No okay. King falls without. Oh, this damage. is the one with the fucking walls that shoot up. Okay, I'm not going to bother with this. I'm just going to sit here and wait. See if they come to me. Yeah, there's like arrows that shoot out of the walls here. I'm not bothered about it. Admire a man who can turn an enemy's force against them. There we go. Not bad. Holding them on this side of the arena. Timed blocks. Better. A lot better. There we go. Nice one. Brilliant. You loot the room. The dealer draws you three game cards. We draw a piece of equipment. It is a scorching zeal. Fire. In its multitudinous forms. Very nice. We still hold it in esteem and wonder. Right. With this fire weapon, sorry, this fire weapon has an aura that decreases quickly. Press to restore the fire and burn enemies. So what does this do exactly? So this weapon has a fire aura that decreases quickly. Press, I'm guessing, mouse one to restore the fire. Okay. Should we put this on, chat? It's 32 damage. Let's give it a try. All for trying new weapons, three food, which is welcome, and five max health. Very good. Let us keep pressing on. A treasure chest. A treasure chest. While exploring a dungeon, what more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? You see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. The chest may hold great wealth, but the chamber may be trapped. Or, oh, I guess we better approach it. Okay, let's see how we do. Oh God, chat! What do we think about this one? I've got no idea. I got no clue. Oh. Literally no idea. Somebody saying three? Is it breathing? Is it a mimic? That's it. A lot of people saying two? Ask eight ball. A lot of people saying twos and threes. 50-50 mimic. Two. Success. Well done, chat. One or two. That's it. Well done. Right. The hall is silent as you move forward. You approach the treasure chest. We play for a token now. The chest looks battered, but still intact. What might it hold? Attempt to try... Ooh, what should we do, chat? What do we do? Do we attempt to pry it open, or do we leave it alone? Oh, dear. Let's attempt it. And what do we think about this one, chat? I've got, like, a one in three chance. Somebody says two, four... One, three? Literally, that's everything, chat. One, two, or three? I'm going to say two. Ah, oh, unlucky. Redraw? There we go. And what do we think about this one? What are the odds of it being two again? <laughs> two is safe. 
There it is. Three is bad. Okay. Right. After a mighty heave, the lot gives way and the spoils are yours. Draw four game cards. 25 gold. Three gold. 20 gold. 20 gold. The token is yours. Let us see what you do with your newfound abilities. If I can find a shop quickly, then hopefully this gold won't trickle away. Ambush. Let's see what we're dealing with. Draw one monster card, two of dust. This should be pretty straightforward. That's going to be gone soon. Ooh! Got the, got the special ability owned him. <laughs> what the fuck? They ripped him a new one. God. Can't believe that I'd owned him. Wow, wow, we. Okay, while well, searching the area for anything worth savaging, you realize that one of them is not dead. Sneak up and kill. What do we think? Number one. There it is. Confirm. Very good stuff. Right. Okay. Did you know Cube Hydrate? Very good point. I'll, I'll take a very big drink because we haven't Cubed Hydrated very much. Ooh, <laughs> Lovely. There we go. It's about half of my bottle gone there. The dealer draws you three game cards. Let's have a look then. Draw one equipment from the armory. Ooh, consuming shame. Poison. All weapon attacks it's are enhanced with powerful poison that taints the victim's body and mind. That Artifacts is give you powerful abilities to use Five in combat. Food. Forty gold. Where we? Call for the priest. Let's have a look then. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a travelling merchant looking to trade with wanderers. Priests have skills in tending to wounds, but they excel in removing curses for a price. Let's have a look. Greetings, traveller. I have much to offer. Thank you very much, Gravy Turkey. Good to see you. Hello. Goodbye, a blessing. It's true. We'll see what they have. Right, so let's have a look at removing curses. This thing's 150 gold. Which is a little bit out of my reach here. Now, what could I sell them? Because I've got a frost fang. That's worth ten. Right. Well, let's... I mean, I'm not necessarily keen on selling items. What about blessings to buy? Toxic blood. Any hit on the player during combat has a chance to poison the attacker. Holy touch. Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves, and arcane knowledge. Whenever the player uses an artifact, there's a 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown by 80%. None of these are really that good. Toxic blood isn't too bad. Can they remove the gold curse? Not without me getting a lot more gold. I don't know. The artifact one is pretty good. This one. Hmm. We, let's just buy it. Let's just buy one, chat, because otherwise our gold's all going to go away. Sell Frostfang and Axe. There's no need to sell them, though. Not yet. Because, like, if my gold trickles down to zero, I need to have items in my inventory. Say, say I run out of food. I need to, like, sell items in an emergency. The curse isn't going to be a problem. That's true. Toxic blood. What do we do? I don't know. Holy touch seems crap. Arcane touch might be okay. Toxic blood seems useless. Enemies die too fast for poison to be useful. It's true. I don't know. Is it worth... I don't know. Should we just buy this one, Arcane Knowledge? Whenever the player uses an artifact, there's a 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown by 80%. The other two require you to actually get hit. Oh, don't worry about that. Arcane plus food until zero gold is, is good, if I'm honest. Let's buy this, then. Very nice indeed. Back. What food offers do they have? They're doing five food for 18. Do I try and take gold forward? Hello, Wastrel. Good to see you, mate. Can you show Holy Touch again? Ah, it's been and gone. What do we think? Buy five. You lose gold, so buy food. Let's buy food. Continue. I'll buy a shitload of food. 
I'm sure you're grateful for that. Leave. Yes. 31 food should be more than I need, so. But I can't keep the gold because of the way the game works. To the exit. The stairs. One more step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs. Take the stairs. Right. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? Let's go the, the north this time. Power. Helpful priest. The retaining of power. And most importantly, the use of power. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your prov oh, half of my food. I could give him half of my food, right? Because the, I still have plenty of food. This should be the last one, right? So this should be the last area. So give him half of my food. Let's see, chat. Can we get the huge success? I think it's number one. I think it's number one or number two, but I'm not sure. Number one, huge success. There it is. Great success. Excellent. Confirm. He speaks in a language of the old religion for several minutes and then gently touches your forehead. It is done. Dr draw two blessing cards. Toxic blood. Many of these blessings. Interesting. For the and holy touch. <laughs> okay. Got a bit of uh, Papa Bless, we're very blessed in this, Jesus. Calling the rat men. Our lives are often lived thus, are they not? Right. Pushed back and forth by the whims of nobility or power. Right. All the lands in the kingdom are being overrun with rat men. Merchants in my lands are attacked on the road and travelers and are any travelers oh, such as yourself. Yeah. My guards are needed here with me, but I have but if I had just 50 gold, I would hire a mercenary army to find their nests and call their call their numbers. I can re have to refuse. I understand that contributing to the common good may be unfamiliar to your sort, but I urge you to return back immediately if you change your mind. I have no gold, I'm afraid, so. Let's go this way. Traveling healer. Not much to do. Thank you very much there to Octars for the 25 months, sir. Good to see you. We're going to pass this guy by, and then I guess I could just do the fight. No? Forest escape. An expedition. Press on. Interesting. Okay, chat, what do we do? Do we take the do we take the forest down or do we go and clear out these other cards and come back? I've only got eleven food. Let's turn back. Go and explore. The local peasants. Feast. Famine. While everything crossing a between. forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greeting, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In a forest is a sense of movement. So let's give her two food as we did before. The woman grabs your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush out of the forest outstretched. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard. The down here... Ah, there we go. So we've got one of our Minotaur missions here. And then we've also got one of these encounters. So, hunting the huntsman. Let's Again, have a look. the token is at stake. It turns out that it's not too hard to track down a mad huntsman who is on a crusade across the countryside in search of a mythical beast. He has been spotted interrogating tavern goers, accosting travelers in the woods, and closely scrutinizing various animal droppings. You hear that he recently left the small town of Thatchcross and was seen heading into the forest nearby. You follow a set of tracks that lead it into a leafy glade. Colourful autumn, autumn, autumnal the words, autumn debris blankets the ground. You stop dead when you hear a suspiciously loud snapping beneath your feet. Oh dear. Two? What do we think about this one, chat? Autum autumnal. Well, a lot of people are saying two, three, three, sorry, people are saying three, three or four. Two? I don't know. It's it's a difficult one. I get one chance to re-roll it, chat. One or two. I think it was two. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, I clicked confirm. Oh, God. That's not what I wanted to do. You look down just in time to see that the ground beneath your feet give way. You fall sharply into a dark pit. Draw two pain cards. Ow. Lose 30% oh gold. Dear. And live with that. Five max health is down. Okay. That, that could have been a lot worse. 
Okay, that's almost not that bad. Right. Uh, do I take the battle? Probably no point, is there? I should probably just move on. It is a new card, though. That's not bad. Yeah, that could have been worse. But the token, I know. Max health, is that permanent? Oh, clicks confirm. I know, right? I, I should have clicked re-roll. It was my bad. I just I didn't even click confirm. I just clicked on the screen and it and it counted it as accepting. Press on. I think going back to the thing. You messed up twice, clicked on a bad one, then click confirm. I know, right? Someone says go left. Go on then, let's have a look. The battle at These Brooktop. These places are rife with power. Draw two monster cards. Meet a warlock. A light draws you to a nearby hilltop where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind summoned creatures. We get two skulls and four of dust. Attack. Ready yourself for combat. Okay, let's tango. Hopefully we'll get some food out of this encounter, but we'll see. Hopefully they don't ranged attack us too badly. Right, here we go. Got our mace. Oh god, wasn't quick enough. I hit the wrong key. I wasn't hit the wrong key again. To use my weapon power. That is quite a strong spell, that. Use the power. Use the fire. I've done it. Probably a little bit late, but never mind. We should heal up as we move back. Right then. Two game cards. We get ten health back, which is great. And five max health. There we go. So like we lost nothing at all. Card's token is now yours. Gain something at least. Oh, is that the Minotaur card? No, is that the Mr. Lionel card? We've got three food left. Work your way through the woods Take and the see forest. what lies beyond. On oh, this floor, God, this the is key of require. dust waits for you. He is prepared. Ratmen hunting. Are you? I kind of think I've just got to go right down the middle and hope that he's at the end. Our old friend, the Jack of Plague, returns to fight another day. Oh, God. It's AoE, mate, right. Don't forget your poison artifact as well. Very good point. I could use my poison artifact here. Right, here we go. Let's go. Hopefully, I think they've got a ranged guy at the back there. Okay, I am trying to roll, but... Oh. Bastard. Back off. Christ a mighty. God, he just hits so fast. Get away from me. You bugger off. <laughs> God, he just hits so hard. Right, okay. Right. Look at him. Stop with the fucking major attacks, would you? Christ about these, Jim. He didn't hit me too hard, to be fair, which I'm grateful for. But Christ, he fucking just wailed on me. He didn't hit me too hard. I could live with that. One food game card. Okay. Oh, that, that was opportune. Okay, in that case, I've got room to explore then. Noble trader. I don't Nobly have anything mine. for you. Or simply noble by birth. A nobleman approaches you on a chariot and asks, as you walk the streets of Stigel, he notices you and comes to a stop. He says, hey there, peasant. I wish to purchase your armor as a gift to my nephew. He is of similar build and enjoys a good scuffle on occasion. Do we sell our armor to the nobleman? What do we think? I need 11. Yeah. Yeah, I think sell it. I think, I think sell it. Honestly, I think sell it. <laughs> it should be fine. Like, it's, the armor's okay, but it's not amazing. You'll lose gold. Can you sell the light armor? No. 
Tell it his nephew is probably a nice guy. People are saying decline, but I get like this weird token. It, look at it, it's a weird token. I feel like I should at least try and do it. Sell it for the token. Yeah, I'm going to sell it just to get the token. The nobleman waits patiently for you to take off your armor and then hand it to him. He should appreciate this. Um, I have, after I've cleaned it, of course, the token is now yours. Um, enjoy your newfound wealth. The nobleman rides away. He gets you four gold cards. Ten. Forty. Fifteen. Twenty. Okay. Hopefully we don't get into too much combat. Now that should put my light armor back on. Uh, which it has done. Which is just what I would normally have. So that's fine. Ember Town Hero. A quest that may lead you down many paths. You come across an injured adventurer. Guarded secrets. Interesting. Whose battered and bloodied armor tells he's seen combat recently? Ask him of his troubles. As you approach, his eyes are drawn to your artifact. I've always wanted that, he yells and lunges forward. Fight him off. Okay. Choose from these <laughs> options. <laughs> I've got no idea. I've got no idea. One and a half hours, let's go for the cube hydrate. A lot of people are saying three and four. Four? Success. I'll take a success over a huge success. Confirm. One was the huge success, apparently. Right, you fight him off and he runs away. Okay. Back through the middle we go. A traveling tinker. Let's see what you have for sale, sir. In we go. Right. Let's see what your man has. Buy items. Ring of Survival. After every third combat, the player receives plus 20 health. Angel's Wings. This helm imbues the wearer with great movement speed. Ring of Poverty. When this ring is sold, all the player's gold is lost, but the player receives plus one max health and plus five for every other gold. And this throwing knife thing. What do we think about any of these, chat? I quite like my reflective thing. That's been quite helpful. Imbues the wearer with great movement speed. What do we think? All useless. Yeah, basically. I've already got a helmet. Maybe I should see if there's another merchant. If you don't have a helm, go ahead and grab that. I've already got a helm. Which is better. Food? Yeah, I do need to buy a little bit of food. Buy a little bit of food. Continue. I'll buy two pieces of food, just in case I have an encounter, and then I'll just leave. Hopefully there'll be another merchant. You can cheese it by buying the poverty, sell it and get max health, but you have lots of HP, so yeah. 11 gold for three food. That is how it is, though. Oh my god, it's Braum. Hello, At mate. Devil's heart, Carnival. These traveling shows are but mockeries of the true One mystery. day, just as dusk gathers, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between the tents and stalls that were once brightly colored, but have now faded and stained with dust. All, sorry, peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys past wonders and amazements, seeming most, almost dazed. Amusements, sorry. Um, there is also, there is something about the place that dulls your senses, and for a while you forget your quest, forget even the path that brought you to this place. Interesting. A huge success. What do we think, chat? I, have, I literally have no idea. I've got no clue. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much there, to Hallmark Hooker. Very, very nice. A lot of fours coming out. So we'll go with four. Huge success. Well done, chat. Confirm. Nice. Right. Cheers and gasps draw you to a large tent. Inside you discover a number of spectacles being performed by costumed artists. Here we go again. And what do we think now, chat? What do we think? I, I honestly have no idea. I don't know how chat's counting the cards at all. A lot of people are saying three. A lot of people are saying two. Lots of threes and twos. More threes? Let's go with three. Oh, dear. Let us redraw. Four was the huge success. 
What do we think about this one now, chat? Oh gosh, what do we reckon? A lot of people are saying three now. We'll go with three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, chat. Come on. All right. Uh, no, it's all right. To one side, a pair of women dressed as devils periodically breathe fire into the air. One of them sneezes as you pass by, catches you with a burst of fire, dealer draws one pain card. Lose five health. There it is. Unlucky. We don't get that token. Right. Let's keep exploring. As we have the food. Oh, Alicia in Underworld. Good thing we went As and checked. you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. You attempt Some to discover left untouched. more about the bizarre portal you encountered. One name keeps recurring, a mystic named Alicia. Apparently, her expertise on all aspects of Shadow Realms, interdimensional travel, and beasts of the void is unparalleled. You track Alicia's caravan. She travels under the guise of a fortune teller. Her appearance doesn't match the whispers about her. She is considerably oh, shorter and has much yeah. more of a beard. Very nice. Thank you very much there to uh, Sorator13 for the Twitch Prime sub, mate. Thank you very much. She audibly clears her throat before speaking to you. Welcome, stranger. She recoils in mock blindness. The dark clouds of fate swirl around you in a tempest. For a little gold, I can help you see your future through the storm. Right, do we pay three gold, explain your interest in finding more about the underworld, or refuse? I think we just pay the gold outright, wouldn't we? It would make sense. You're back in chat versus fate, it's true. Let's just pay the gold. Oh god. Oh god, chat, not again. I don't know. I just, I, 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 I try to watch it and my eyes just glaze over. Literally no idea. What do we think? I, I, I've got no idea. A lot of people for two. That's a failure. We'll redraw. It was number three. Uh, Ash, Ash was Ash was right, and he and he threw a Q capper out as well. What do we think about this one, chat? Should we go three again? No, we're not doing it, chat. People think four. We're gonna we're gonna get ready to blame get ready to blame Miss Jaina. We're going with number four. Oh, there it is. The mystic exhales and opens her eyes. You hint a detective, you, a distinct amount of disappointment. You will travel to many exotic places in your lifetime. We pay three gold again. I guess we can just keep spending gold until we get it, right? One. No. Redraw. Let's keep doing it. It's four. Damn. Was it four again? Yes, it was. Lovely. The mystic's eyes flash wide open. Your your fortune is awash with death and destruction, but there is also hope. You carry the fortune's favor with you. How may I aid you in your endeavors? To someone with such a powerful aura as yours, I could tell, I could tell of what I know. The price for such information, though, would be high. A powerful magical trinket, such as one you are carrying. Exchange an artifact for the mystic's information on the underworld. I've got to do it. I've got to give it away. You hand over an artifact to the mystic. She appears quite surprised. Oh, okay, then. I guess now I have to tell you all the many things I know about the underworld. Gone is the smooth voice of the mystic replaced by a much more agricultural accent. Seemingly unsure of her words, the underworld is a strange and uh, mystical place. Look, the mystic, the real one, just pays me to drive the carriage and look after the horses. I just fill in occasionally. The other day, she come over all strange, talking about portals to the underworld and such, and she says she's going to investigate. That was two days ago. I'm starting to get a bit worried. Will you look for her, adventurer? Offer to search for the missing mystic. You venture out into the woods behind the mystic's caravan and soon come across another portal like the one in the village sacrifice. You edge closer to the portal. A powerful voice booms in delight. It booms out in a delighted cackle. At last, a visitor to my domain. You are dragged into the portal. Four of oh god, eight hell demons. Christ. Here we go. Now I don't think my. Flame Axe is going to do very much damage to these guys at all, are they? Let's 
Let's see if they have any unblockable attacks. Yes, they do. Okay, they're just basically like the Skaven. Let's see if we can just get this combo going. I don't think that these guys are going to have much... Oh, God. Okay, I thought you were going to attack him, not the guy on the ground. Block him. He's standing on his back legs. There we go. It's going to take a long-ass time. God above. That was a back leg one, I saw that. Jesus Christ. Christ, let's try and use it. I doubt it's going to do anything. Christ almighty. Good grief. Okay, we're not doing too badly. Nice one. Good grief. Don't you have holy? I don't think so. I'm not sure whether it does have holy on here. I thought just because it was a fire weapon, it wouldn't do very well. Big hammer. That's it. Right. With the last hell beast slain, the voice rings out once more. You have won for now, but my forces will rise up and take the land above by force. You cannot stop us. Here. Take it. This token is now yours. Lovely. Move across the road here. Oh, the White Council. New. Let us Let's take a, a token on their foolishness. One day, as you travel through a forest, you come across a band of thugs standing on the roadside. As you draw near, they move to block your path. You'll draw two monster cards. Three of dust, six of dust. Refuse. Or we could give them our gold. What do we think about this, chat? Give them half of our gold, refuse, or go back the way we came. Should we refuse? A lot of people are saying one. I think giving the gold, right, because this is an encounter. I think like this, because this is an encounter, I should. Right? Because sure, this might unlock something. I'm going to go with one. I'm going to give them half of my gold. Hand over half your gold. All right, then. One of the men remarks, you may pass, but keep out of trouble. Okay. So we can go back in again. Let's do the fight instead this time. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what Let's it refuse takes. instead. The White Council does not, doesn't like armed mercenaries wandering through their land, the man says, as his goons close in, close in around you. We'll go back in. I thought maybe that might work. We've got a lot of dust to fight here. Holy shit. This is going to be a big fight. We'll watch the traps. Right, here we go. Oh, the alert doesn't come up until very late. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh God. Nice one. That wasn't too bad. That could have gone a lot worse. God, look at the body pile. <laughs> Considering that was 12 dust, I can't argue with that. That was all right. Okay. Uh, as you approach, one of the fallen men says he's with some effort. You'll regret this. There will be consequences. He cuts off as his voice fails him. You notice a road figure standing in the shadows of the forest. He waves his hand and a magical portal appears, stepping through it. He is quickly gone. You look around and find no trace of the fight remains. The token is now yours. There we go. Fair enough. Right, let us... Apparently I can do that encounter again, but let's just go and get to the end. There it is, the King of Dust. The King of Very Dust is fierce. Very few are so foolish as to deliver themselves to the King. Uh, but loyal to his troops, he can choose to heal them during combat. The King of Dust broke faith with 
king with king and country long ago and he has made himself rich and powerful through the judicious application of cruelty and terror outside of law for decades this token will unlock more cards Cube hydrate. That can defeat this encounter let's have a look right the king is fierce in battle and loyal to his troops let's rock and roll big drink remember to use the ability often i will try I'm pretty sure the AoE fire here is going to offset his healing quite a bit. That is a big axe. Cut Salvador from Borderlands. Jesus, look at it. There we go. So I imagine he's going to have a lot of powerful, unblockable attacks. Guys are literally falling in shit from above. Oh, God, I, I so got out of that. You can fuck off with your throwing shit. So it's just him left now. rough but I got him Christ and he forgets the ability oh the fucking poison one no I gave away my artifact I, I did forget to use it but I gave my artifact away there to that many who will be that, 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 that person I can't remember the likes of my lesser king mind you not As too bad me, I think you have but proven that I must defeat you entirely fair enough A not too bad for you. you will need them and more for plundering a locked treasure chest you received Plus two, and fool's gold. Very interesting. This token here, I'm not sure what this one's about. For exploring Brooktop Hill, you receive gain 25 gold and the altar unlock. For trading with the nobleman, you receive 25 gold and the lovers. Excellent. For the Alicia quest, we receive the next part of Greenborough Forest. For dealing with the White Council, we receive... White Council 3, <laughs> go figure. And then last but not least, we get Feathered Ice as a trinket upgrade, Life's Limb, looks like a great sword, the Jack of Scales, Hero's Remains, Stranger in the Shadows, and the Old Graveyard. Add those to the deck. And come, I think come once more to the game. We will call that a game. We'll call that a game. That's not too bad. So cute. Have you played this much before? No. This this is this is the first time I've ever got this ever gotten this far in the game. Um. So yeah, we'll call that a stream just because it's about ten minutes left, and obviously we won't get through a, a whole session in ten minutes. T it seems to take roughly sort of 40, 50 minutes to get through an area, which isn't too bad. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna bugger off for the evening. So thank you everybody for tuning in today. Thanks for the stream. No worries, Legolas. Good to see you. Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. That's true. That was great fun. I'm glad people enjoyed it. Got a little bit ropey there. That fucking, that bit where I did re, didn't re-roll that card. That was big capper. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. Not sure what I'm going to be playing this evening, but I will be back again at half eight UK time. Um, so yes, yeah, so stay tuned for then. So in terms of who is left, let me just quit to desktop here. And then see who else is online now. So, currently on the streaming roster, we have literally just Mr. Yeah. Sovia, and, and we've got Unreal Yuki as well. So I'm going to pass you on to Yuki, who's currently doing some Modern Warfare. Do That's feel free to send in my best, and I will catch you all next time. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. He's going to res his whole team quick scope.